Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. x to the power 4 minus y to the power 4 is equal to 65 and x plus y is equal to 5. Our job is to find all possible values of x minus y. So, let's start. Let's call this equation, equation number 1, this equation, equation number 2. So, we start from this equation, equation 1. This uh, equation 1 can be written as uh, x squared whole squared minus y squared whole squared is equal to 65. Uh, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus uh, b times uh, a minus b. This will become x squared plus uh, y squared times uh, x squared minus y squared is equal to 65. Now, by using this algebraic identity, this uh, x squared minus uh, y squared will become x plus y times x minus y times this x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to 65. Now, we replace this uh, x plus y with this value 5 from equation 2. This will become 5 times uh, x minus y times uh, x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to 65. Now, we divide both sides by pi. This 5 will be cancelled out with this 5 and we are left with the x minus y times uh, x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to 65 divided by 5 will become 30. Let's call this equation equation number 3. Now we use this uh, algebraic identity x plus y whole squared plus uh, x minus y whole squared is equal to 2 times uh, x squared plus uh, y squared. In this identity, we replace this x plus y with this value of x plus y 5 from equation 1. So, this will become 5 squared plus uh, x minus y whole squared is equal to 2 times uh, x squared plus uh, y squared. Now, this will become 25 plus uh, x minus y whole squared is equal to 2 times x squared plus uh, y squared. If we divide both sides by 2, this implies that uh, x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to 25 plus uh, x minus y whole squared divided by 2. Now, in this uh, equation number 3, we replace this x squared plus y squared with this value so, this uh, equation 3 will become x minus y times 25 plus x minus y whole squared divided by 2 is equal to 13. Now, we suppose that uh, let x minus y is equal to t. So, this equation will become t times 25 plus t squared divided by 
टू इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन मल्टीप्लाई बोथ साइड बाय टू सो दिस टू विल बी कंसिडर्ड विद दिस टू एंड वी आर लेफ्ट विद टी टाइम्स ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस टी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू थर्टी टू टाइम्स टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स Now we distribute this t. T times 25 will become 25t, and t times uh, t squared will become plus uh, t cubed is equal to 26. Rearrange these terms uh, and move this 26 to the left hand side. This will become t cubed plus uh, 25 times t minus 26 is equal to zero. Now in this uh, cubic equation, if we check uh, t is equal to one, then this will become one cubed plus twenty-five uh, times one minus twenty-six is equal to zero, and one uh, plus twenty-five will become twenty-six minus twenty-six is equal to zero. It means that uh, t is equal to one is a uh, Solution of for this uh, cubic equation, t minus one is a factor of this cubic equation. So we can rewrite this equation as uh, t cubed. We subtract t squared and we add t squared. And we write this uh, plus twenty-five uh, t as a uh, negative. One time t plus twenty six times t minus this twenty six is equal to zero. From these two terms, we can factor out t squared. In back left, t minus one, and from these two terms, we can factor out t plus t as common factor. In back left, t minus one. And uh, from these two terms, uh, 26t minus 26, we can factor out uh, plus uh, 26. In bracket left, uh, t minus 1 is equal to 0. And as you can see, this expression t minus 1 is a common factor, so we factor out this uh, t minus 1. And uh, in bracket left, uh, t squared plus uh, t. Plus twenty-six is equal to zero, and from here either this expression t minus one is equal to zero, or this expression t squared plus t plus twenty-six is equal to zero. From this equation, we get the value of t. Is equal to one, and from this quadratic equation, this is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, t is equal to negative b is one plus minus square root of b squared is one squared minus four times a is one times c is twenty six divided by Two times a is one. Next, t is equal to negative one plus minus square root of this one squared is one. And the negative four times one times twenty six will become minus one hundred and four divided by two times one will become two, and t is equal to negative one plus minus. Square root of one minus one zero four will become negative one zero three divided by two. This will become t is equal to negative one plus minus square root of one zero three times square root of negative one divided by Two. Next, 
t is equal to negative 1 plus minus this uh, root negative 1 will become i times uh, root 103 divided by 2 and first we found that uh, t is equal to first we found that t is equal to 1 t is equal to 1 now recall that uh, we have supposed we have supposed that x minus y is equal to t we have supposed that uh, x minus y is equal to t it means that we get uh, three values of uh, x minus y first is 1 and second is uh, negative 1 plus uh, i times uh, root 103 divided by 2 and the third is negative 1 minus i times uh, root 103 divided by 2. So, we have uh, three solutions of this equation.